Good afternoon, folks. Clock says 2 p.m., so we'll get started with today's webinar. Uh, my name is Luke Rogers. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service office in El Paso. And today we'll go into depth and talk about the high wind event, Mount Snow event that we'll be experiencing through the remainder of today and into tomorrow. First and foremost, let's take a look at our key messages with regards to this event. A strong storm system currently over the Western United States will move into the region, the great, the um, Four Corners Desert Southwest region within the next 12 to 24 hours, bringing with it a potent cold front. Strong to potentially damaging winds are expected on Wednesday associated with this cold front and storm system. Expect difficult travel due to the strong winds, especially for those high profile vehicles. Looking more towards the winter aspect of the storm system, moderate to heavy snow over area mountains, the Sacramento mountains, the Gila wilderness um, is expected with near blizzard conditions Wednesday morning, light snow possible for lowland areas west of the Rio Grande Valley. First and foremost, take a look at our current wind products we have out there. Today, we have a high wind warning that's in effect for our area mountains, the Sacramento Mountains, the Gila Wilderness, and the Hidalgo Uplands, with gusts possibly up to 60 miles per hour in those locations, and then a wind advisory elsewhere across most of desert lowland locations with gusts possibly up to 40 miles per hour. Looking at tomorrow's wind products, the high wind warning expands quite a bit across our forecast area. For most areas along and east of the continental divide within that high wind warning, wind advisory areas further out to the west along I-10 within the Hidalgo Lowlands and um, the river valley, the Gila River Valley up in the Gila Wilderness. Next, we'll look at the wind impacts matrix. And again, this is just the matrix, matrix based on wind impacts with this storm system. Strong to potentially damaging winds can be expected Wednesday morning through the afternoon time frame, with areas of possibly localized blowing dust and difficult traveling conditions. A few things to note looking at this graphic we have here. Um, most of the area will see minor impacts th through the remainder of this afternoon and into the evening hours with regards to wind. Um, portions of the area, however, will quiet down, including El Paso, Alamogordo, Lordsburg vicinity. We'll see quieter conditions, winds decreasing as we head on into the late evening and into the early overnight time frame. We'll see those winds decrease. However, as we move on into the early morning hours, heading into the mid and late morning hours as well, we see a sharp increase in our wind speeds leading to those moderate to major impacts across most, if not all locations across the forecast area. And a thing to note is as this storm system swings on through the Intermountain West, the cold front will move from west to east, first starting out in our west and northwest portions of our forecast area before progressing as we head on into the early to mid morning time frame tomorrow. And then eventually as we head on into the early afternoon, mid afternoon time frame on Wednesday. Here's just a graphic showing the timing of the front and the associated winds with it. Again, as that front enters the forecast area, enters Western New Mexico, around early morning time frame, right around sunrise, that four, five, six, seven, eight uh, a.m. time frame, we'll see those very windy conditions with gusts to 50 to 70 miles per hour possible within the darker red shaded areas. As we progress through the morning time frame, as we head the cold front will progress further to the east, approaching the Rio Grande Valley, Las Cruces, El Paso Metro, right around rush hour time frame, right around sunrise, six, seven, eight a.m. is that when the front will move through um, the central portion of the forecast area. Then finally, as we head on into the mid to late portions of the morning time frame, the front will progress further to the east, heading into far west Texas and um, or Otero County. And again, anywhere shaded in this brighter red area could see those very windy conditions, 50 to 70 mile per hour gusts, 
elsewhere in sort of the lighter red area could see 25 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts. Taking a look at our max wind gusts on Wednesday, and again, the max wind gusts will occur during the morning, early, early morning time frame, further out to the west, mid, early to mid time frame, morning time time frame, and uh, for the central portion of the forecast area, and then mid to late morning time frame for areas further to the east. And again, very strong wind gusts on Wednesday morning associated with that. Most of our forecast area, especially areas along and east of the continental divide, will see wind gusts 50, possibly approaching the 60 mile per hour, uh, um, 60 miles per hour with our mountain locations. You can see here the brighter colors, especially up in the Sacramento Mountains. Isolated spots within the mountains, Sacramento Mountains and their higher elevations could see wind gusts approaching 70, possibly 80 miles per hour in some, some instances up there. So tomorrow it's gonna be very, very windy. Um, high impact full event with regards to those winds. Switching gears, turning over to the winter weather side of this storm system. Here's our current products that we have in effect. Winter storm warning for our area mountains, four to eight inches can be expected, mainly elevations of 7,000 feet or greater within the pink shaded areas. That's including Silver City, places like Cloudcroft, Sunspot, areas within the Sacramento mountains. That, the snowfall in combination with the high winds we're expecting, we could see near blizzard conditions Wednesday morning within portions of those areas, especially up in the Sacramento Mountains, in particular along Highway 82, Highway 70, those mountain passes, could see some very difficult travel uh, conditions up there with near whiteout conditions as we see the snow begin with the winds cranking up. Winter weather advisory for el portions elsewhere across um, the Hidalgo lowlands and the Hidalgo uplands with one to three inches expected. Could see an inch or two Lordsburg along the I-10 corridor there for areas to the west as well. And again, here's our snowfall totals, what we're expecting here. Again, six, seven, eight, nine, potentially isolated areas of 10 inches within our high elev highest elevation spots within the Sacramento Mountains and the Gila Wilderness. Elsewhere, like I mentioned, along I-10 here, within Hidalgo, Southern Grant, and into um, Luna County, could see an inch, possibly inch or two of snow in, along I-10 there. But as we head further to the east, you see a sharp cutoff in those snowfall totals, um, with precipitate, with rain and snow chances decreasing as we head further to the east. Um, it's worth mentioning also Trans Mountain, 375 loop going through Trans Mountain. There could be a brief instance of seeing some snowflakes fall during the morning time frame um, that could lead to potentially some slick conditions along Trans Mountain and then along St. Augustine Pass as well if you're heading east out of Las Cruces. So a brief summary overview of what we can expect. Again, can't stress this enough. This strong storm system will lead to strong, potentially damaging winds across portions of the area. 50 to 70 miles per hour will be likely in most spots um, during the Wednesday morning time frame, early afternoon time frame, especially for area mountains and lowlands east of the divide, especially along those east slopes of our area mountains, locations like US 54 in East El Paso on the east slopes of the Franklin Mountains could see some stronger winds um, as we head on into the morning time frame. With these winds, expect difficult travel due to the strong winds, especially for those high profile vehicles. Um, localized areas of blowing dust will be possible as well. Moderate to heavy snowfall over area mountains with near blizzard conditions Wednesday morning and light snow possible for lowland areas west of the Rio Grande Valley. Um, and with that, I'll feel free, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability.